So, I'm out here harvesting, out in a garden, and I got to harvest and still harvesting some pak choy. He's going to stir fries. Beautiful pak choy. This takes only one month to grow, and you're harvesting from it. It's miniature um, bok choy. But look at all this beautiful orange chard. I harvested today. Look at this. Look at them. These leaves are so sweet and tender when they're like this. You see how bouncy they are? Because they're not dry. They don't let them get too big. So they're they're not bitter. You know? So I'm going to put you right here. So this is my pak choy. I already harvested from these two. It's gonna it's going to seed. So it's the end of its um cycle but what i've been doing is popping the heads off to buy me a little more time with them um so i'm able to harvest and get a little bit more from it and, and it gives it um those little leaves a little more time to to grow and then i'm waiting for my other seeds to come in the mail because what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna replant these and then by the by the end of the season, I'll let it go to seed and collect its seeds for next year. But isn't it wonderful to be able to harvest something in as little as a month? Um, Every morning I come out and I eat some of these, I just pick it right from the garden. And I know I'm getting my greens in that morning. <laughs> and they're so, because they're so small, I mean, they don't get huge. They're really, really tender. They maintain lots of chlorophyll in it. Oh, look at these photosynthesis. I didn't even space these. So imagine if I would have spaced them, which I have some coming up in the backyard as well as in containers. This one is just right into the dirt. Um, so spacing it is going to give me some thicker plants as well. Love this survival knife. Use it for everything, especially when I'm harvesting. You always want to go downwards. You don't go upward. If you go upward, it messes up the root system and then it can cause your plant to die. And I definitely don't want my crops dying on me. <sighs> so, yeah. Love, I love coming out here and getting things. And now have tons of zucchini blooms. You can actually fry, deep fry those if you want it to. Um, sometimes people just grow zucchini actually just for the flowers because they're such a delicacy in some restaurants. I'm growing mine for zucchini. <laughs> oh, that mint. The medicinals. All these medicinals. I have marjoram over here that's great for diabetes this my lemon bombs are coming up beautifully I love what my lemon bombs looks like great for headaches so my harvest today very very happy look at this five no this is a three gallon tub filled with greens